All right, so I have a 16 MKZ and having issues with the water filling up in the trunk and end up taking off this panel on the trunk, on the trunk lid. And there's water everywhere. Basically, there's a lot of clips. The seals, they're not sealing, so you can see this channel. This is where they have the rubber seal or whatever, foam seal. So it's not sealing it right. And you can see all this stuff is soaked. It's all wet. The water gets inside the trunk. And obviously when the trunk is closed, the water would fill up in this area specifically and it goes through the seal and pours in. See all this water? It's all wet inside. So this is the panel. So that's what it looks like on the back. Removing this panel is very risky. It is old and they do, it's very brittle plastic. It does break apart easily. So be really careful with it. So there was two nuts right here. All right, so the two nuts, 10 millimeters, and then there's a GPS as well, I think it was a 10. So just make sure this gets cleaned and seated right so it's not leaking through it as well. I did remove the carpet panel. I don't have a video how to remove that, it's pretty simple. Just the handle is the one that's in the way. You're gonna have to unscrew it. And the rest is mostly all just clips all around. But so far, I suspect it's leaking out of these clip holes. This is where all the clips are gonna sit. See the top of my trunk lid is soaked in water. There should be a recall on this. This is just crazy how this car has so much little defects. Then there is another issue people are saying. You take this little plastic piece off and there's a channel of water that goes underneath of it and there's no cover over the tail light and then it goes on the side of the body panel and then there's the the fresh air vents or whatever you want to call them it goes through the ceiling inside and then it just pours out so you would have the whole rear carpet soaked in water and i have that issue too i'll do that later for now i'm going to resolve the trunk lid and this is all the ceiling that it has to protect it so the water doesn't go through these clips but you could clearly see they're all wet inside there's water so that shows you that water is going through the seals either way so I'm debating what to use right now I might just use silicone and put it back on so it depends how you want to do it but this is what it looks like these are the clips uh, to pull it off we're working our way through each one with this tool. I'll show you in just a second. So the tool we use is this plastic wedge. So you just kind of work your way around each one, prying them out. And they pop out. So far I didn't break any of them. The only one that was broken was the bolt mount. And I guess it was broken before. So I'm going to glue that back on. But that's what it is, so hopefully Lincoln does some kind of recall on this. This is ridiculous. The cars are literally rusting out through because of this.